start. Um, so I have a theme for tonight's art show and it's the seasons. I was looking for um, paintings to share with you tonight and I noticed that I had all the seasons covered, spring, summer, um, fall and winter. So I decided I would try for a theme, but it's a loose theme. Um, but uh, there were a few things I just wanted to mention before I start. One is I do have door prizes tonight. If you leave me a comment to let me know that you came to my little art show, um, then I'm going to choose two lucky winners at random to win some note cards, um, my hydrange note cards, and one of my sunsets called End of a Wonderful Day. So there'll be two door prize winners this time. So please leave me a comment to say hello or just let me know that um, you know you you watch the show either now or anytime through Sunday because the sale that uh, I have going on ends on Sunday. So there will be people watching um, who couldn't make it tonight, but they want to see the replay and uh, I'll choose my door prize winners on Monday. Um, I did want to mention that I am having the best sale of the year. It's 30% off all oil paintings and um, prints and note cards and calendars. Everything on my website is included in this sale. Um, here's my website. It's conneryboydgallery.com. And there is a code for this sale to get the 30% off at checkout. And the code is I love art. Um, if you prefer me to invoice you because you, you either are technically challenged like I am sometimes and um, my website can be a little tricky to work with or if you just don't like, um, you know, using website checkouts, uh, I'm happy to send you an invoice. So just send me a note if you see anything that speaks to you or if you would like me to send you a calendar, any, any of those things. A couple of other points I just wanted to mention is that um, the prices that I'm going to talk about tonight do include free shipping in the United States. Um, I can ship internationally, but I have to figure out how much it costs um, for each particular piece. Also, um, frames are not included in uh, the prices that I'm quoting tonight. So shipping is included, but frames are not in the United States. Um, and the sale that I'm going to be mentioning the sale prices as well as the regular prices, but they're 30% off the regular prices, just so you know that up front. So I'm going to begin with spring. So the first painting that I'm going to show you um, is one that I love. It's called um, Finding Stillness. And um, for those of you who know me, I'm a big meditator and I practice Reiki and um, some of my paintings kind of reflect that side of um, what I do. And, and this particular painting was inspired by a very tranquil sunset um, at Cape Cod, one of my favorite places. And um, I, I did feel like this was a particularly spiritual um, painting for me and it's one of my restorative oil paintings. Um, but on the other hand, we just love Cape Cod and we had a lot of fun with our family there. So, I mean, if it speaks to you that way too, that's, that's great. Um, but I did name it Finding Stillness because that's like one of my favorite things to do. Um, it's a 36 inch by 24 inch oil on canvas. Um, it's one of my more abstract pieces. It's got a lot of texture and the colors are um, kind of soothing pinks and purples and turquoise. Um, and yellows. And I think that they just felt like spring to me. They felt like Easter. And uh, that's why I kind of thought it was appropriate for the first um, spring themed painting. Jimmy, you want to just help me like lift it a little bit closer to the camera so that. All right. So you can kind of see it a little bit more closely together. Make it straight. So that one is Finding Stillness. And um, it is, how much, I'm sorry? 850 to 5.95. <laughs> 8.50 usually, um, and it's 5.95 for the 30% off session. Thanks. Okay. And let's see, the second painting I have for spring, even though, is this little sweet bouquet of flowers. It's called... Whispers of Light. Whispers of Light. And the, uh, the reason I named it Whispers of Light is because, um, I don't know if you can see it up close, the color's not too good. It's number three, whoops. Mm -hmm. I skipped That's number two, sorry. That was my bad. Mm -hmm. um, Whispers of Light. 
I did this from a pretty little bouquet and it had um, just a little bit of natural light coming in from the window. So it's, it's kind of subtle and sweet. And I felt like these pinks and yellows were perfect kind of spring colors. And we're all looking forward to the joyful signs of spring this year, I think. So this is, um, this gold frame is available. I can get these pretty economically if you like it too. Um, but it doesn't come with the frame. And it's priced at? Uh, 240. It's regularly $200 for the painting. It's at 8 inch by 10 inch. Um, and it's on sale for? 140. So that's a really um, good deal. There you go. So I noticed when I was thinking about the seasons that I had a bunch of little 8 by 10 paintings of seascapes and abstract paintings. And so I put them all together to talk about them because they really kind of look cool together. Um, and they represent, let me pull back a little. Can you help? Thanks. Yep. This one's spring. Oh, sorry. Spring, summer, fall, down here. What's the other side? Fall and winter. Um, they're all on my website. I added a little section to my website called Little, uh, you can take that down, thanks. Lovely and Little, um, because I felt like some of my little paintings were getting lost um, among the big ones. So if you go to my website, which is conneryboydgallery.com, and you look at the top menus, there's a new little menu item called Lovely and Little. So all of these paintings are on it. This one is called Spring, Re Spring Reflections. This one is um, Lightning the Day. This one is Marshland, Autumn, Magic, or, in, magic the in the Marshland. And this one is Opening, in op the light. opening, opening to the Light. So um, they also look really sweet you know, together if you wanted to pick two or to make kind of a little um, wall gallery. I'm going to take one of them off and just show you what it looks like in a frame. The fun thing about these little paintings is you can use them um, for a really small footprint, you know, in a hallway or um, on a little wall in a small room. I want to hand me this frame. And uh, you can add a little small frame. Like this is a repurposed antique frame that I picked up. And um, I think it, it's kind of sweet with an abstract painting in it. And it just makes like a 13 by, uh, I mean, not even a 13, like a 12 by 9 space, um, really sparkle. Or you can take, I'll take this one. Yeah, oh, thanks. Perfect. Or you can make it look really kind of contemporary for a small apartment or, um, you know, just a more modern um, contemporary home um, with a float frame like this. And another suggestion would be, and I'll just kind of hold this one up like this. But if you had a real traditional house, go with a gold frame like this, and then it makes it a bigger um, footprint and kind of more of a statement piece. So the frame can kind of give you a lot of flexibility on this kind of size painting. So I'll put this one back. So all four of these are available. They're regularly $200, and they are each, whoops, I feel like I'm on Saturday Night Live, $140 um, for the sale. I have little landscapes all over my house because they're like my favorite thing. I love them. When I planned this, um, I didn't realize I was picking sunset, so the light is changing as I'm speaking, so we'll just see how it goes. This painting is called Gentle Morning Light, Gentle Morning Light. and this is a scene from Hammonasset, um, Connecticut. Uh, Hammonasset was right near uh, its State Park, which is just beautiful, near where we lived in um, Madison. And the light, this is actually a morning scene. I'm not a morning person, but I used a photograph that someone shared with me to, to um, paint this. And uh, it, kind of, it kind of glows a little bit, this painting. Um, I just think it's really special. And it's how, how big? 
16 by 12. 16 inches by 12 inches. Um, and it's $300 regularly, 210 on sale. Here we go. Thank you. And that's number four. number four in case you're tracking it. Thanks. <coughs> Number five. Oh, this is a sign of spring. Um, in Arizona, when we went hiking in the spring, we we saw this beautiful bed of uh, desert lupins, um, lupines. I'm not quite sure how you say it, but um, they were just so pretty. And I came home and I painted it right away. And and I love this little painting. It's got kind of a botanical vibe. Um, and I also call this blue that I used in this. Um, pandemic blue because I kind of discovered it during the pandemic. I went to buy some paint one day and the girl at the register was so sweet. She said that they were um, getting rid of a whole bunch of oil paint on clearance and did I want to look at um, some of the colors. So she gave me a basket of paint and I picked out some colors that I've never used before. One of them was this ultramarine um, blue, uh, Windsor Newton color, this particular shade of ultramarine blue. So um, since I discovered it, I've been using it a lot. And um, it's it's just really pretty in this sweet little painting. Reaching so this is called Reaching for the Light. And it is an oil on canvas. It's 10, 10 inches by 10 inches. And two, 225, it's regularly 225, but it's 157, is that right? 157, it might be 158, because that was one of the odd numbers on my website. but. Sorry. There you go. No, I just remembered. Here we go. Thanks. Okay, now we're moving into summer. We're on season number two. This is a new piece that I just finished. Um, it's called Joyful Choir. When I was painting these pretty pink bougainvillea, um, I noticed that they were all kind of turned toward the light, you know, in the same direction, and they looked like they're they were kind of open and I know I get a little crazy, but I felt like they were singing. So um, I named it Joyful Choir. Uh, bougainvillea uh, are one of the things that keep us going out here in the hot, hot summer months. Um, they're just so pretty and um, one of the best things about living in Arizona. So I get to paint them all the time because we have them in our backyard. So I feel very blessed. And this painting is 12 inches by 12 inches and it's an oil on canvas. It's called Joyful Choir. Um, and you know this, I, I can add this frame also. The price for just the painting is regularly 275. It's on sale for 190. And I think the frame is like uh, 60 dollars to add. It's 193. Sorry. There's another, there's another six on this list. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Seven. Yeah. Thanks. This painting, this is a little abstract um, seascape of the beach. If uh, you love turquoise, this is the painting for you. Um, this is um, this was a very fun painting that I did from a Charleston, Char Charlestown, Rhode Island scene. Um, and um, on those beautiful days on Rhode Island beaches, you do get that gorgeous turquoise. Um, that you almost see in the Caribbean sometimes when the sun is shining and it, it's just so pretty. Um, I popped it into this antique frame that I think looks kind of cool with it um, that I just repurposed. Um, and it's called Sea Swirl. And that's a play on words too for my friends from Mystic who know there's a really good ice cream store named Sea Swirl too. Um, but I just kind of like the way that the um, swirl of the surf was coming up onto the beach in this one. So this is called Sea Swirl. It's a 14 by 11 and $300 regularly, but 210 on sale, 211. Sorry, forgive me if I'm off by a dollar or two on these sale prices because I'm rounding. Thanks. Okay, I don't paint a lot of boats, but there is a sailboat in this painting. Um, this is called Tranquil Evening Light. 
I'm showing it here in a contemporary float frame. Um, and when I shared this in, on social media this summer when I painted it, um, I kind of said something like, I wonder what summer's gonna be like. I think it was May when I painted this. And um, you know, I was worried about beaches and summer with the virus and what was it gonna be like? And uh, my friend Bill Hanlon said, I hope summer is like your painting. And it just made me feel sweet and warm inside. So um, here's a lovely just evening painting that I, um, I painted from a photo that was from Stonington Harbor in, um, in Connecticut, near Mystic, where we used to live. And it's a beautiful place. And here's a little close up. And this painting, again, it's Twinkle, Twinkle even, Evening Light. 12 inches. It's 12 inches by 12 inches. It's 250 regular and it's 175 on sale. Here we go. Thanks. Actually, the light's holding up pretty well. I was afraid it would get really dark because it, the sun is setting right now. Okay, thanks. Let me see, here you see summer. Here's a pretty little Cape Cod scene. It's an, a 12 inch by nine inch painting called Lazy Hazy Summer. Um, and I, you know, we, we all who vacation at Cape Cod know how you gotta traipse through the dunes kind of to get to the beach. And um, there's a little bit of that beach rose vibe going on as you walk by, they're always so pretty. And though the weather is always a little hazy um, and I kind of tried to capture that hot hazy summertime feeling in this painting, which I think is, is a sweet um, beach painting. Pretty for a beach house, maybe. Um, and the price of this one? $225, It's $225 regularly or $157 without the frame. And that was number, number nine. Number nine. Yeah, that one's going to be really good. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. This is number 11. This is number 11. This painting is called Power in the Sky. And um, I actually used this one for a demo a while back uh, to show kind of how I paint. Um, I love the way it looks in this frame. I, um, I confess that this frame does not fit this painting. I'm holding it together but I just wanted to show it to you because I thought it looked so cool. Um, it's, uh, the painting is 24 by 18. Um, and uh, this is one example, you know, my work ranges between pretty realistic and very abstract. I'm sort of on this spectrum, depending on how my week is going or how my life is going or what I feel like doing or what inspires me. Um, and this is really on the abstract side. Um, and I just love this painting. Uh, I just feel like it, it just captures, you know, the, that powerful sort of beautiful but stormy day um, by the coast. And let's see, the price on this one. That's okay. That's 24 by 18. Yeah. Uh, $400, it's four hundred dollars normally, and it's only two eighty. Wow, that's that's a lot off for thirty percent off. Um, <laughs> sometimes they sound bigger than others, <laughs> so it's a good deal. Here we go. Thank you. No problem. Got okay. Okay, we're still in summer, but we're almost moving into fall. This is called um, Tranquil Reflections. These, this is probably my favorite color palette, these turquoise um, and golds with a little bit of purple. It's, it's also an abstract painting. It's 12 inches by 9 inches, and it's... Um, 225 regularly or 157 on sale. Tranquil reflections. We gotta get that guy. There it is, those stallions. Okay, give me that one. <laughs> Thanks. I think it's the arsenic. This is, we're moving into autumn now. That's okay. Sorry. Um, we're moving into autumn, and I'm showing this painting that is an Arizona landscape. 
Um, if you look closely, you'll see that there are some prickly, prickly pear cactus in the front. And this painting um, was from a photograph that my friend Marissa, who's one of Kevin's friends actually from college, um, she's studying art at the University of Tucson and she took this beautiful photo overlooking the uh, mountains in Tucson at sunset. And um, I just love it. And I don't think the boldness of the colors really comes off on, on this screen, but this is a really um, pretty dramatic painting. It's very pretty. Um, and it's called Desert Sunset. Yeah, Marshland that's that one. Okay, sorry. Yeah, Desert Sunset. Yeah, yeah sorry. that's okay. Sorry. Jim's had a long day and he's really trying to help me and I appreciate it, but I know he's tired. 16 by 12. It's 16 inches by 12 inches. $300 or $210 or 210 on sale for somebody who loves Arizona. Okay. Oh, yeah. Can I put this? In oh, which one? The, no, yeah, the nat natural wood frame there. Thanks. I added this to fall. Whoops, rush, I'm backwards. We are not as organized as we usually are tonight. <laughs> Sorry. I added this to the fall collection because these colors were just bursting with fall oranges and reds, and they're so pretty. Um, this one is called Delightful Diva Dahlias. It's one of my absolute favorites. I just love these colors. I know I've shown it to you before, but I thought because it was a special sale, I would mention it again because um, because it is one of my favorites. And it's uh, 250 regularly. It's 12 by 12 on sale for 175 and it will add a burst of cheerfulness to any room. And then we'll go back to marshland and autumn. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Here we go. Thank you. This is number 12. Okay. We found number 12. We're, we're this is called Marshland in Autumn, and um, one of my favorite places to kayak I really miss is the marshland around uh, the rivers um, that lead to the ocean in Connecticut. They're just so serene and pretty, and especially in the fall when the colors are so beautiful. So this painting captures that kind of ambience in the marshland where I, I love to kayak. Um, and this is the last of the autumn paintings. So we're moving on to winter after this. And this painting is, how big is it? 12 by 16 or 11 by 14? Um, 14 by 12. Oh, we have 14 by 11. 14 by 11. And it's priced at? 300, 210. It's 300 usually, but it's 210 on sale. Uh, a little taste of New England fall. Here we go. Now. Oh, that's the little desert piece. No. This one right here. Okay. And for my friends in Arizona, I have one more little abstract um, desert painting. It's called South Mountain Light. Um, we just love to, to hike in the trails in South Mountain. And I, I tried to capture it here. The desert trails are so pretty and they change like all the time with every season and um and it's subtle you know it, uh, because it's the desert but um it's particularly pretty in the fall um, once summer has passed everything looks prettier too out here because it's just not so hot and you can hike and spend time outside so that's why i chose to put this in the in the fall collection here in our little show so this one is just a little guy it's 10 by 10 so it's also going to be in that lovely and little section on my website it's regularly 200, 200 and it's on sale for 140. So I have quite a few pieces that are in this price range at 140 in this show. If you go to that little session on my website, it's kind of a, a nice size for gifting for yourself or for others too. Here we go, thanks. Okay, we're moving into winter. So um, I just thought these pretty, Red Sweetheart Roses kind of fit like a little wintry seasonal theme. Um, moving towards Valentine's Day in February, but or Christmas reds and greens. Um, uh, this is one of my favorite little paintings that I did this year. It's 
a very traditional subject, but it's got a contemporary vibe and um, it's kind of muted tones. And the light was coming on this side, oops, over here, from the roses and um, on the roses from, from the light. I, I painted this from life. Um, and I just think it's a really cool piece. And when I popped it into this black cloak frame, I just thought it looked really bright. Um, so that's why I'm showing it to you today in this frame. And this one is 12 by 12, 250 regularly, and it's 175 on sale. So I told you the theme for the show was loosely seasons, and I, I popped this one in. This is another little still life. One of the best things about Arizona out here is our neighbors are so nice, and they have a beautiful lemon tree that... Um, that uh, produces the best lemons in the whole world. And um, so I get to paint them and that'll be coming soon. And also I just think that tea is kind of a winter thing. I drink a lot of tea in the winter. So that's why it's in the winter category. This um, little painting is 10 by 10. It's also in that lovely and little section on my website and it's Lemon called Lemon Lush. Is it 10 by 10 or eight by eight? 10 by 10. It's 10 by 10. And it's $200 regularly or $140 on sale. Be a cute little kitchen or dining room piece. I have a lot of fruit paintings in my kitchen and my dining room. Um, I think they're fun. Here we go. Thanks. Okay. And continuing on winter, this painting, um, I've been sharing on social media because I, I love it. Um, and it just sold actually um, already. So that's, that's really nice. Thank you, Ellen, if you're watching. Um, this painting was inspired by um, my trip to Western Massachusetts last week. I, I mean, sorry, last year. I haven't been anywhere this year. Um, I was driving from my sister's house in West Brookfield to visit my brother. So it was kind of an all in the family day. And I, um, I literally, like my jaw dropped when I saw this gorgeous farm um, scene where there was just a little snow left and it was a cold day and it was just breathtakingly beautiful. So um, I took some pictures and I, I painted it. And um, that little bit of snow inspired me to call call it frosting because it looked like kind of frosting on the cake to me. Um, so this painting is sold, but I may be doing some more scenes from this farm because I kept the photographs and they're, they're very inspiring. So um, here we go, thank you. Thanks. And this is an, another little winter painting that I did from that same trip. My sister Kath lives in West Brookfield and there is a dairy farm right down the street from her that we walk by all the time. And I just think it's so quintessential New England um, with the cows mooing and it's just so charming. And um, I took uh, photos of it when I was there and I painted when I got home. And um, they have this little red building, kind of a barn sort of, I, I'm not sure what they use it for, but it, it's it's pretty cool. So this is a little Westbrook Field painting. It's also in that lovely and little category that I mentioned. So um, it's specially priced. It's uh, two twenty five regularly or one fifty eight on sale. So that's the end of my um, my seasonal selections for today. But I did want to just mention real briefly that um, one thing if you didn't see the beginning of the show. I wanted to mention if they leave a comment to me um, on the show today or over the weekend while you watch it, I'm going to be choosing um, some door prize winners for giveaways of um, note cards. And um, I have hydrangeas and a sunset to give away to a lucky winner that I picked from by random, um, a random number generator on Monday. Um, also, I wanted to just mention really briefly, I'm going to grab those, that print for me. Um, on my website, everything is 30% off except uh, gift certificates. I do have gift certificates for anybody who's interested in gifting a gift certificate for a painting or a print for Christmas or for your uh, favorite holiday. This is an example of a, um, one of my prints. This is an 18 by 18 print, G clay print of um, my painting, End of a Wonderful Day. I'm just gonna take it out of plastic. Um, when they come in the mail, it's kind of like Christmas opening them there. It's, it's so much fun. They pack them really nicely um, from my printer in the Bay Area. And I'm just showing you this example because um, it's on fine art paper. 
And um, it takes about, I'm going to say two weeks to get one, but they're also on sale, 30% off. And I think, you know, I'm going to guess here and you can, I will give this print to anybody who, who tells me I'm wrong, but I think it's about $75 on my website. So um, for this 18 by 18 inch size and it's on sale, 30% off. So that gets it down to around 58 or something. But um, I will give you this print for $58 if, if you can't find it on my website for that price. But um, they're just beautiful. And I wanted to mention that because I haven't told anybody um, about that lately. Um, I think I'm going to be doing one more show this year, just focusing on prints and note cards and uh, also my calendars. There's a calendar in there. I, I have a few calendars left for 2020. One, and we're all looking forward to 2021. Um, and they're also on sale 30% off through the weekend. And if you buy three, you get an additional 20% off. So uh, they're $18 each just this weekend. That's the best price that I have um, I have offered them at. And uh, if you buy three, you get an additional 20% off. Uh, they're fun for gifting for, well, teachers, poor teachers right now, or medical people uh, that you want to show some support or love for, or just people that are stuck in their houses. It's kind of a fun thing to um, to have a calendar to look forward to 2021 and support an artist at the same time. So I'm grateful to all of you. Um, so calendars are on sale, note cards are on sale, and and all my GK prints are on sale 30% um, off through Sunday, the end of the day. And uh, I can't thank you enough for all of your support this year. It's been a uh, crazy year for all of us, but, um, you know, I've been grateful to have this art thing going because it's helped me to stay in touch with people and spread some love around. So um, I'm very blessed and grateful. So thank you, everybody. Have a good weekend. And, oh, please just reach out to me at, on my website or by email, um, Peg Connery, uh, pconnerryboy.gmail.com um, if you have any questions or, or requests. But, um, I'm happy to work with you or Zoom with you if you'd like to see something up close or in a different light or with a different frame or, or anything like that. So thanks so much and have a good night. Bye-bye.